it's iPhone update time. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So ever since Apple dropped iOS 16 and iPhone 14 series, there have been a ton of bugs that need to get squashed. And in traditional fashion, Apple has released a couple of dot updates in order to try to squash them. This isn't new to just iOS 16, they've done it in the past, but they have so far announced iOS 16.0.1, just last month, iOS 16.0.2, and now there's reason to believe it is imminent that we are getting an iOS 16.0.3 bug fix release. They did not squash all the bugs, unfortunately, in the dot two release. That was mainly for the camera issue where third-party apps caused it to shake uncontrollably, Snapchat, stuff like that. But this new dot three release should actually have addressed a lot of these other bugs that are coming issues with low volume during CarPlay, during phone calls, um, display flickering on some iPhone models when brightness is set at low, a string of text that can crash the messaging app, an error when attempting to edit cinematic mode videos. Uh, yeah, it's there's a good amount, as you can see here, listed on Mac rumors, stuff that needs to get fixed. I'm hoping that this release will squash all those. We do know probably by the end of October as well, we're gonna see 16.1, which has been in beta for developers and uh, public beta testers in regards to this as well. So I'm assuming this should drop sooner rather than later. That way everything can get fixed for the 16.1 release with all of those other new features that we're really looking forward to that was announced, uh, live activities and all of those other features as well. So it'll be good to see, hopefully Apple will have this addressed. Uh, you guys know we're using a 14 Pro Max as our daily phone right now. But let us know in the comments down below, are you guys having any issues with iOS 16? Is it crashing on you? We all know the battery concern. And I, if you guys don't follow the channel, I will address that really quick. On my 14 Pro Max, I've been finally getting with beta 16.1 over six hours of screen on time, uh, which is a massive increase almost back in line with my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, but hopefully this other dot three release will update it as well and have that battery life fixed. Obviously that's one of the biggest parts right now with my personal issue uh, up until the 16.1 release was not having great battery life. Seems to be resolved now. Let me know in the comments. Are you looking forward to this? Are you having any issues? Thanks for watching. Thumbs up this video it really helps. Subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.